Hey everyone, this is Nathan. Today I'm exposing Walford Carlson, um, who some of you may know as Works, also known as now the Servant. I'm exposing him with picture proof evidence and undeniable, undeniable proof that he's an occultist and a Jesuit agent masquerading as an apostle of righteousness. Um, he's been a plant from the very beginning and what I'm about to show you may sh be very shocking to you if you haven't seen this information. I just ask that you please just pause this video, ask God um, for the full truth, no matter what it is, and for him to reveal the truth to you. No matter what your beliefs are about Wally, just if you can just humble yourself and ask God to show you the truth, and, and you believe, you pray in faith, I believe that God will show you the truth. So first, I'm just going to go ahead and get started uh, with his album cover, which is um, for his Liquid Fire album. Very demonic, very demonic. You see a uh, skeleton burning in like the lake of fire. And then here you see a one-way sign with works, a one-way sign with works, his name. And of all names he named himself with, it's works. And this guy is making trap videos of himself rapping And you just have to think logically, why would anybody, any minister, make a one-way sign and then put their name on it? If anything, it should be one-way Jesus. And I mean, just look how demonic it is. It's darkness. It's evil. People burning like a fire. And I'm going to go ahead and show you next uh, another album cover of his or for the Word, Word on the Street videos or whatever it is. Um, <clears throat> right here very demonic and satanic so you see right here here's Wally and Elizabeth they appear like white like there's light coming off of them and then you see a dead person's hand right here you see wolf right here and another wolf right here let's see if I can just do that yeah Another wolf right here. Um, yeah, I don't want to block that off for you guys. A wolf with blood all over its face killing a sheep. And he's just sitting here with light coming off of him. Oh, he's so good. But look at this. Look how demonic this is. A like, ghost or dead person right here. And then there's like a ghost or person screaming with like their mouth wide open i'm telling you it's so satanic and dark and evil and it's him with a light while the sheep are getting slaughtered and that's what he is is a wolf in sheep's clothing beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing but inwardly they are ravening wolves ye shall know them by their fruits do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Wherefore, by their fruits ye shall know them. Not every one that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils? And in thy name done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. For there shall arise false Christs and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. He's a Jesuit occultist. And I'm going to go ahead and show you 
um, some of his occult uh, occult symbolism. And first, I want to show his um, how he dresses completely vain, and he dresses. Look at this, all white, like with the sandals too, and the rays, the golden rays coming from his head. Like he's some kind of apostle of light is what he appears, what he's trying to appear on the outside. And Jesus addressed these people. He's a Pharisee. And and if you didn't know, the Jesuits are of the synagogue of Satan. They're fake, uh, the J word, I'm not going to say it. But they're synagogue of Satan, and that's what he is. That's why he never exposes the synagogue of Satan, because he is one of them. He exposes everything else. The Vatican, the Hadron Collider at CERN. Uh, from witches, wizards, warlocks, everything, but he himself is one, but he never exposes the synagogue of Satan. And, you know, another thing, Jesus warned about the people who uh, enlarge their garments and, and dress in long robes. Um, and this is the equivalent of that, of how he dresses. I guarantee nobody in his congregation dresses like this. He's completely vain and wants to appear holy i mean look at that dressed in all white and all therefore whatsoever they bid you observe that observe and do but do not ye after their works for they say and do not for they bind heavy burdens and grievous to be borne and lay them on men's shoulders but they themselves will not move them with one of their fingers but all their works they do for to be seen of men they make broad their phylacteries and enlarge the borders of their garments. Um, you know, the average person, normal person who comes to Christ and gives their life to him, they're no longer vain anymore. They become less vain and they dress more simple. Works, on the other hand, uh, wears expensive stuff all the time, new shoes all the time. Um, he eats at restaurants all the time, uh, good restaurants. I mean... Uh, and just look how he dresses, all white, it, with the rays coming off his head. That's what he wants to appear to be. But I'm going to go ahead and show you some of his uh, satanic imagery. So this is from his uh, music video, Universe. And look at this. Standing right in front of or inside the all-seeing eye of Lucifer. Perfect eye, and there's no excuse for works because he knows all about the occult and everything. And this isn't even just a one-time thing. He showed it like three times in the video. The eye in different ways too. I'm telling you, and it's black and there's three layers just like an eye. It's so obvious and satanic. He rubs it right in your faces and, and, and yet he exposes it all the time. But he's the, he does the same thing. He's such a hypocrite and a Pharisee. And I just want to ask Works, how can you explain this Works? Because normally, uh, what you did to um, uh, whatever the channel is called, uh, his name's Denevius, he exposed this, and all you did is try to attack his character, and that's what evil people do. That's what they do in uh, the court of law. That's what works does when he exposes anybody. He tries to expose their character um, to basically make people automatically discredit them so they don't hear anything that they have to say. And that's what they do in the court of law with a key witness that ha that's telling the truth. Uh, they're going to try to take that key witness and destroy their character so that nobody trusts them. They're going to say they're a drug addict, they're an adulterer, whatever it is, a liar, a cheater, and that's how they discredit somebody so that nobody even listens to them, even if they're telling the truth. And works, let's just, just, dude, let's just wait to see what he has to say about me, about my character. Um, and let's see how much, how he can address this satanic symbolism his album covers he needs to repent of his album covers because they're evil and wicked and there's no excuse for worse because he exposes the call all the time he knows better and i'll show you another thing this is from another video called remedy look at this white and black symbolism the occult symbolism of duality that's what they're all about and what is accompanying a lot of times with the white and black red that's the only colors in here. And not only that, it's so obvious because look, three black people, they're pretty much all white. And then the one white guy is all black. Come on, guys. It's so obvious. And it works. He knows about the occult. He knows about the white and black. 
He knows about that. There's no excuse for him to put this in this video. There is no way he can defend this. There's no way. He's an occultist. He, it's right in your faces. He can try whatever he wants to try to deflect or divert, but how can he explain this? He can't. And there's there's no way he can explain that. It's so evil and satanic. I'm going to play some backmasking from this video as well because I decided to play it backwards and see what I heard. And I did hear some pretty satanic messages that he's putting in his songs. The Master is a tape about as big as the top of this podium that looks like an overgrown 8-track that the album is cut on and is placed in a machine that produces and presses the records and the 8-tracks and cassettes that you buy. After it's been recorded, it's taken in. This is why a Master is cut months in advance before it's released. On the full moon, it's taken in to a temple room about the size of this auditorium that is in every one of the major music companies behind locked doors up in the executive office and it's placed on an altar setting in the north of the room and a pentagram engraved in the floor and 13 hand chosen witches and witch wizards and a coven come in and conjure a principality or a power up usually Regia or something like that and order him to tell the demons under him to follow every record and every tape coming off of that master as I tell many Christian parents you can go home and count your kids' records, probably yours too, and count how many demons at least are there. That's too hard for you to believe. Now I'm going to get into uh, this church that he preached at a while back, and he still has videos on YouTube. It's a Jesuit church. And if you don't know the Jesuits, they are crypto Jews. They are the fake Jays. They are the synagogue of Satan, and they're working with the Catholic Church. The Jesuits are like the militant order of the Catholic Church. They work hand in hand, and it's just like in Jesus' time. Nothing's changed. The synagogue of Satan has been conspiring with the Vatican for all these years. Um, and that's what works is, is a Vatican agent. Look at this, IHS. A lot of people think it stands for Isis Horset. He was preaching in this church. And you know what? If you can dismiss this, you can't dismiss this because what the same judgment works uses, he will be judged by. And in his video with David Lynn, I'm not de defending David Lynn. I don't even know the guy. But... In his video with Dave, about David Lynn, he exposes David Lynn as a supposed Vatican agent or Jesuit because of the church he preached in, because of who he associated with. So I'm going to do the same thing for Works. Works, why are you preaching in a Jesuit church? How can you even get in a Jesuit church? Because uh, as far as I know, Jesuit and Catholic church are pretty much the same thing, and you cannot preach in a Catholic church unless you're a Catholic priest. Churches and Roman Catholic Episcopal Conferences. Do you see this? Saints of God, it is not a game. Now I believe this man is a Jesuit, but David was honored to be in the midst of him. Shows you his fruit. So how is he getting in a Jesuit church? And why would he, all people, because he holds such a high standard of you can't do this, you can't do that because occult this, occult that. You can't associate with this or that or new age this or new age that. But he's has satanic imagery in all his, how many of his videos, black and white, the all-seeing eye of Lucifer, um, and he's in a Jesuit church. <clears throat> and yeah, I was going to show another thing uh, comparing him. Here's the 2015 VMAs. You see the all-seeing eye, and it just looks so similar to what, <laughs> what Works was doing in his video. And not only this, a secret handshake that on, on Works' website that he was posed with. And, you know, they always pose uh, the elites and the celebrities and stuff. They always pose uh, in the middle of a handshake, like as a pose they do. Look at this. Doing a, a, a an occult handshake um, with the finger sticking out. People don't do that. People don't handshake with their finger sticking out. And guess what? One of the only other places I can find this secret handshake with the Pope Look at that. Would you imagine that? 
there's more ties to the Pope again. And here's George Bush doing it. Yep. There's a secret handshake. I wonder what kind of satanic order he's a part of. He's a, he's a Jesuit. I know that. <clears throat> Which is a high satanic order. And there's tons of satanic Freemasons and occultists and Jesuits that have infiltrated all parts of society and the pastors. And they appear righteous. They know the word of God. They preach repentance. And they lead their congregations. And they can go by for all their life, 50 years, without anybody even questioning it. Them being a Freemason. And then, and you know what these people, the plan is? You know what works as plan is? Just like these other pastors, they want to turn people into FEMA. That's what they're going to do. He has all these people's addresses. He has pictures of them. He has their names, their phone numbers. Why do you think he has all this information? Because he wants to turn in. He wants to take true Christians, zealous Christians, and he wants to turn him into the Antichrist. That's what he wants to do. He's a Jesuit. And he's a liar and a hypocrite. And there's no way he can defend himself from this. And another tie to uh, the Vatican. Right here, someone was going to this conference. This person, this brother I know, his name's David. He prayed about works. He prayed about going to the conference. This is the sign God gave him right uh, after or during his prayer. A car stopped in front of him. He took a picture of it. The license plate says 44666 Motor Works. That's 666 Works 44, 44 is tied with the Antichrist. Uh, you know, Obama was the 44th president. I'm not saying he's the Antichrist, but, uh, and you see this at this Nelson Mandela, um, let's see, fundraiser. The, Big part of his fundraiser was named, it had the number 46664, which is supposedly like his prison number or something like that. It's in our hands. I mean, come on. And 44 again. And you see, you know, the celebrities purposely posing, cutting off the fours and doing the 666 and holding their hands up. Um, and then you see this, Nelson Mandela wearing the Knights of Malta, the, the Order of St. John, which is a Jewish Catholic order, would Vatican order, would it's satanic order. You see the queen doing it too. What are the odds that works is tied to this guy spiritually with, again? And I just, I, I mean, just come on, guys. It's it's so obvious. Works uh, all this, all this satanic symbolism. I mean, it. How, there's no way he can defend it. And you see the. Here's another example. Here's Katy Perry, the black and white and the red. Here's, here's Michael Jackson, the black and the white and the red. And then here's works. Uh, here's the royal wedding, the black, the white, and the red. And then here's works. The same exact thing, and he knows about this. He's not ignorant. There's the red. There's the red. Pretty obvious, guys. Pretty obvious in the all-seeing eye. Just like here. <sighs> so, guys, I just pray that you just... I pray that you guys pray about this, and I pray God shows you the truth because works as a liar and a hypocrite. He's a satanic agent, and he has evil plans for uh, the people that he's, he's trying to lead. Um... And I just pray that you see the truth and there's no way that he can explain this away. So God bless you all. Book. Listen to this. this is, now this goes deep. Even friend requesting. If And even us, we got to go through our friend list because there has to be a way to declare that y'all ain't my friend. <laughs> like even having... 500 friends or a 5,000 friends. If they're really not your friend, you're lying. Now, some of y'all might be like, words. No, 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 no. That's what the devil wants you to do. It's not take this serious so the spirit of lying stays with you. And I'm going to tell you the main reason soon. Just be patient. All therefore whatsoever they bid you observe, that observe and do. But do not ye after their works. For they say, do not. For they bind heavy burdens and grievous to be borne, and lay them on men's shoulders, 
but they themselves will not move them with one of their fingers. But all their works they do for to be seen of men. They make broad their phylacteries and enlarge the borders of their garments. So anyways, I started to meditate on this. And there's so many ways. Have you ever had to go download an app or sign up for something online and it tells you to check check off the box and it says, I have read and agreed to the following? You know you didn't read it. You just clicked it and hit yes. Technically, that's lying because you didn't read it. You see how slick the devil is? Stretching the truth, they call it. Sarcasm, mockery, they're all in the family of lying. Okay, you see these street preachers that mock the sinners. That's wicked. These people are lost. You, that <laughs> I know it's wax. I, 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 it's uh, uh, it's wax. He's witchcraft. Stretching the truth, they call it. Sarcasm, mockery. They're all in the family of lying. Okay. You see these street preachers that mock the sinners? That's wicked. That I know it's wax. I, 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 it's, uh, uh, it's wax. He's witchcraft. And have omitted the weightier matters of the law, judgment, mercy, and faith. These ought ye to have done, and not to leave the other undone. A blind guide which strain at a gnat and swallow a camel. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye make clean the outside of the cup and of the platter, but within they are full of extortion and excess. Thou blind Pharisee, cleanse first that which is within the cup and platter, that the outside of them may be clean also. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye are like unto whited sepulchres, which indeed appear beautiful outward, but are within full of dead men's bones and of all uncleanness. Even so ye also outwardly appear righteous unto men, but within ye are full of hypocrisy and iniquity. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. But guess what? For some people, if a wife has a husband who's carnal, worldly, does nothing but satanic stuff, he don't ever want to read, he don't ever want to pray, he always tries to hinder her walk. She might have to raise the knife. That man might have to raise that spiritual knife. If his wife doesn't want to serve the Lord. Why do you think the word of God says, if your right hand offends you, cut it off. He said, raise the knife and cut. And if you got a worldly husband, a worldly wife, worldly friends, I'm telling you, God may tell you to raise your knife if they don't change. What is it to gain the whole world but lose your soul at the end? For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. And no marvel. For Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works.
Ye serpents, ye generation of vipers, how can ye escape the damnation of hell? Wherefore, behold, I send unto you prophets and wise men and scribes, and some of them ye shall kill and crucify, and some of them shall ye scourge in your synagogues and persecute them from city to city that upon you may come all the righteous blood shed upon the earth from the blood of righteous Abel unto the blood of Zacharias, son of Barachias, whom ye slew between the temple and the altar. Verily I say unto you, all these things shall come upon this generation. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou that killest the prophets and stonest them which are sent unto thee, how often would I have gathered thy children together even as a hen gathereth her chickens under her wings, and he would not.